Hello everybody and welcome back to the Toy Box. Today I'm going to be opening up the Disney Dorables Series 8 Ultimate Mega Peak. And this is a Target exclusive and it comes with 15 exclusive figures and 15 regular Mystery Series 8 figures. So I'm very excited about this. Here are the exclusive figures that we get and here is the Series 8 checklist on the back. Some characters that I'm still missing that I'd really like to be able to have. I still don't have Pegasus or Hades or Hercules or Meg from Hercules. Um, I'd like to get some more Young Princesses and Big Hero 6 characters and hopefully maybe another special edition. And I still only have... Tinkerbell from the Disney Fairies Series 8 collection. So, I'm very excited about this. This is a very cool pack, and I'm excited to open it up and see all the awesome figures that um, we were able to open up and look at today. Alright, so, looking at the bottom real quick, there is a code on this that says A01. So, I don't know if that necessarily means anything for an Ultimate uh, Mega Peak, but um, I just wanted to share that with you all. So, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's start here and see. Alright, so the ones on the outside look to be the um, exclusive figures to, um, to this peak. So, ooh. Let's see if I can just open these up. Can be able to get these out. So here are all of the exclusive figures that you can only get in the Disney Dorable Series 8 Ultimate Mega Peak. And I'm going to be taking a more in-close look at some of my favorite figures um, that are the exclusive ones at the end of the video after I'm done opening up all of the surprise mystery figures. Alright, so they must be inside here. Yep, there we go. Oh. And so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen mystery doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and open all the doors and just pull all the figures out. And then um, after I do that, we will look at them all. And I have my numbers list right here. And hopefully um, I don't get a lot of duplicates today. All right, so I got all 15 bags out of the box, and I avoided looking at all the numbers as best I could. So let's see, starting out with this bag, we have bag number 21, and bag number 21 is a new character. And our first character from these is, ooh, the special edition scented bell. Very cool. And let's see, she's holding a rose. I believe she's supposed to smell like roses, even though I don't, I don't know what a, I don't personally know what a rose smells like. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, that's certainly an interesting smell, I guess. Um. Okay, I guess now I know I know what a rose smells like now. Okay. All right. Next bag is bag number 39 and this is a new figure. All right, and we have ooh, one of the Tweedles from Alice in Wonderland. So let's see, taking a look at the checklist, 
um, at Alice in Wonderland. Here we go. This Tweedle is sticking his tongue out, and this is Tweedledum, and Tweedledum is a common. And also, on the last Disney Adorable Series 8 unboxing that I did, I realized after I was done filming that I forgot to show you all the checklist for the Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland, and the Caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland is a rare. So that was from the last unboxing video. Alright, so taking a look at the next bag, we have bag number 34, and this is a new character. And we have, ooh, the March Hare from Alice in Wonderland. All right, two Alice in Wonderland characters in a row. Very cool. He's got a teacup and a little coat on. And one of his pupils is looking up and the other is looking down. I hope that's supposed to be the way that's supposed to be. I'm guessing because it is Alice in Wonderland. Um, let me see. Um, oh, the March Hare is an ultra rare. All right, but looking at this figure... The figure doesn't show that one of his eyes is supposed to be looking down. They're both supposed to be looking in the upwards direction. So, I guess when they were doing this figure, one of the eyes got put in upside down, I guess. So, hmm, interesting. But, um, I got the March Hare, and he is an ultra rare, nonetheless. I'm going to move these out of the way. Just focus on one bag at a time. So this is bag number 32. And bag number 32 is a new figure. All right. And we have... Ooh, Hades from Hercules. We have Hades. And this is this looks like to be whenever he gets super upset and angry in the movie and his head bursts into flames. Very cool. Whoops. Very cool. So, let's see. Hades from Hercules is a common. Alright. Taking a look at the next bag. This is bag number 14. And, oh, we have our first duplicate. This is a duplicate of Priya from Turning Red. All right, next bag, we have oh, bag number one, which is another duplicate. This is a duplicate of Tinkerbell. All right. Next bag, we have bag number 15, which is a duplicate of Panda May. Okay, now we're getting a string of duplicates, so that's not very good. All right. This is bag number 33, and this is a new character, so that's good. Alright, and here we have, ooh, Meg from Hercules. She has very cool molded hair that's kind of tied up and swoops down and under a little bit. And she's wearing her dress, and she's got her, looks like she has one hand on her hip and the other one kind of pointing outward. <laughs> so that's cool. And Meg from Hercules is a rare. Or Megara. I guess that's her full name, but Megara Meg. This one is bag number 11, and bag number 11 is a duplicate of Fix It Felix. Alright, let's see. This seems to be bag number 48, and bag number 48 is a new character. And we have, oh, we have Baymax. Baymax, wow, look at him. He is completely kind of translucent and very, very clean. He's got his little white circle there for the chip insert kind of port area on his chest. Very cool. 
And let's see, Big Hero 6, Baymax is a common. Let's see. Ooh. I can't really tell what the number on this bag is. It looks like there's a 9 on it, so I'm not sure. I can't, I can't make out what the number on this bag is, so I'm going to open it up. And let's see. We have, ooh, Wasabi from Big Hero 6. Very cool. Very cool. He's got his little, um, I believe they're like electric blades that he wields. Very cool. Very cool. And Wasabi. Ooh, Wasabi is an ultra rare. So that's very cool. All right. There are four bags left. So let's see. Here is number 27. And yet again, number 27 is another duplicate of Young Princess Merida. Can I please get a different Young Princess besides Merida? I have like three or four duplicates of her now. All right. And here is number 22. And number 22 is a duplicate of the special edition scented Minnie Mouse. All right, so. And this is bag number 37. And, ooh, this is a new character. We don't have bag number 37 yet. So let's see. This is, ooh, the King of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Very cool. This is a very clean figure. Very cool. He's got his little little heart scepter there. So that's cool. And now here we have the, the final bag. And the final bag is number 43. And this is a duplicate of Mike Wazowski. All right. So these are the eight brand new figures from series eight that i was able to get today and it's interesting that they kind of came in groups like i got two new big hero six characters two hercules characters and three alice in wonderland figures so um and also one special edition with the rose scented bell so out of these eight i think my favorites are Meg and Wasabi. I think those two are my favorites from these eight. So these are the characters that are exclusive to this Disney Adorable Series 8 um, Ultimate Collector's Peak that are my favorites. All of them are great figures, but these are my favorites. You, We have here the um, exclusive Pain and Panic that are kind of... Um, translucent and see-through a little bit and then we have a special bell figure and her hair is all glittery and then we have what's possibly the biggest durable in all of durables history we have ralph when he ends up in the giant cupcake in the movie and then we have two of the racers from Sugar Rush. Um, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, and I don't have the box by me. But this is, but this one is um, Taffietta Mutton Puddin, I believe, and she is Vanellope's main rival in the movie. So it's really cool to have her. And we have the two police officers here, the uh, uh, Winchell and. Um, uh, the other one, I can't remember which one is which, and I don't know food names. Um, but the cool thing about this doorbell is, is that there's actually a hole. Let me, uh, let me move over so it can get in a clear view. There's actually a hole through this doorbell. So it's like they had to mold the figure around and a hole inserted. Which is very interesting and very cool. And then the last one here is a flocked King Louie. This is very cool. Since I was not able to get King Louie with my um, Series 7 collection that I um, had previously. 
Um, this is very cool to be able to have a King Louis figure until I can hopefully get the one from Series 7. And he has sparkly silver eyes. And he's very soft. So, um, so out of the exclusive figures, these are my favorite. And this is definitely a great pack. And especially if you, if you have not gotten any Series 8 yet, or you've only picked up like a couple mini peaks or one multi peak, then I definitely recommend picking this one up. And it's a Target exclusive. So that's the only place you'll be able to find it. Alright, so this is a quick overview of all the Series 8 figures that I now have been able to collect um, from all of the Mini Peaks, Multi Peaks, and the Ultimate um, Collector's Peak that I just opened. So, still only have one fairy and one young princess and so I'm definitely going to be getting some more Series 8 packs in the future. And hopefully I'll be able to complete the series. So um, thank you all for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on all the characters that I unboxed today. And also which character or characters from Series 8 is your favorite. Um, out of all the ones that I have, I definitely think my favorites that I have right now are Fred and Wasabi from Big Hero 6, um, the Falling Alice, um, Sully, Mike, and Filth, or did I say Filth? I meant Phil, whoops, and also Panda May is really good. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, then please consider giving a like and also subscribing for more content coming soon. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye!